Pleased to be joined now by goalie for Omaha, Nathaniel Salah, our defensive peak performer of the week, brought to you by Ticket Smarter here in this peak performer focus. Nathaniel, this season, uh, in the last few games that you've really stepped in, it, it's just been dominant. I mean, you've given up two goals so far, and those came against Creighton. Uh, looking back to last week, your Western Illinois start, seven saves and uh, no goals against. I mean, that's a pretty good performance in a league game, isn't it? Yeah, um, we got the result. I got the clean sheet, I so that was good for us, for sure. And your second peak performer honor in three weeks. Uh, the team has been pretty special in the month of September. 4-0-2, an undefeated month, and for yourself, 2-0-1 in that span. What has this month been to this team in terms of the success that you've been able to find uh, as a squad? Well, uh, in the beginning of the season, we had to deal with some adversity, but um, we managed to dig ourselves out of the of this hole, and we just kept working hard uh, every practice session, every game, and luckily we've been able to transform it into the games, and we keep on going. There is no easy week in the schedule, especially once you jump into Summit League play. I mean, we've been saying it all season, coming into this men's soccer season, it's going to be a special one in terms of the depth that the league has. There's really uh, top to bottom, any team can win any week, and we've seen that. And now just looking forward, the next four matches for you, that's not easy, right? You have ORU in Tulsa this weekend, a midweek against Missouri State, a team that is in the top ten nationally, and then St. Thomas, a team that has stolen points from some of those middle-of-the-pack teams in the league. And then you look forward in a couple weeks and you play Denver, another team that you know is conference favorites and has had success all season. What does it take to get through this type of slate with success? Well, uh, summer league play is always very tough. Uh, like I said, every team can beat anyone. So we just got to make sure we keep working hard in practice. Um, we keep performing in the games. And uh, yeah, looking forward to all the games coming up. What does the team learn so far? I know the non-conference season, you get a, a wide array of competition and uh, you get to play against some of the top teams in the country and then uh, some teams that you're really hoping to find form against. What have you guys learned through this first part of the season? Well, we learned that um, really in college season, it goes up and down. Um, every team can beat anyone. Um, we had some tough losses this year, but we also beat some good teams. Just uh, last night, we played a very good game against, against Creighton. But unfortunate not to get the win. But uh, we learned that you got to bring it on in, uh, in every game in college because uh, every opponent is tough. So, um, yeah been up and down for us but um, recently we've been able to to stay stable or like you said we haven't lost in the month of september so uh, keep on going and hopefully we can do we can do the same thing in october and, and this season specifically in summit league play is a little bit different than seasons past just with the amount of teams that are in the league you have an opportunity to play some teams twice and one of those teams is oral roberts you get to play them in tulsa on saturday and then you get them at home to end the regular season uh, you know, those opportunities to play some of these teams twice. You're going to get Kansas City twice. How important is that to finding success and, and really being a measuring stick for the season? Uh, for myself, I don't think I've beaten or Roberts yet since I've been here. So I'm uh, really looking forward to those games and hopefully getting a result this time. And also UMKC, um, we tied them the last two times we played them. So... Um, and we conceded in the 89th minute uh, last game, our last time we played them a couple of weeks ago. So we're really looking forward to play these teams again and hopefully get a positive result for us. And you mentioned uh, not beating Oral Roberts so far back in 2021 in the uh, in the Summit League tournament at Macomb at Western Illinois. You guys lost in the first round to ORU 2-1. to one. Uh, and, and you played in that game. You're going to get a chance to play them twice this year, maybe even three times. What type of rivalry does that create for some of these teams and some of these matchups? Well, um, like I said, plenty of times now, every every game in the Summer League is tough. And uh, yeah, our Roberts is definitely uh, one of the better teams in the Summit League. It's always head-to-head uh, -head when we go against them. And it's always close games. 
But uh, yeah, I think we're ready for it. Um, we, like I said, we've been stable so far um, the month of September. Hopefully we can keep it going uh, in October as well, stay unbeaten. And um, yeah, I think we're ready for this game uh, this weekend and uh, hopefully we can get a result in Tulsa. On looking on the opposite side of the field from you, the offense has had a ton of success this year as well. And, you know, how much pressure does that take off of your shoulders when you're in between the pipes and you know that you guys are going to go out and score a couple of goals every night? Um, this year, we don't really have a typical nine who is going to score us 20 goals, but uh, we have a lot of guys that can get on the score sheet. So, uh, obviously, if you have a lot of guys in your team that's going, that can score a goal, uh, that's a good thing. Not not every team can say that about themselves. And I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's good to, to score goals. But on the other hand, um, defense um, has been doing a very good job. Um, Kyle Reese and Nash Oswood have been stepping up big time. And uh, as center backs, also Zena Glenn, he had to step up a couple of times this season too. So I'm, I'm, I'm very um, pleased with my uh, center backs as well as with my full backs. Um, Martin and Gonza, just um, the way the way we work as a unit uh, has been uh, very positive lately. So I hope we can keep that going. All right. Well, we wish you the best of luck this weekend in a matchup of two first place teams. Both teams tied uh, alongside Denver as well. Three teams tied for first place in the Summit League. A chance to get some separation. Nathaniel Salar, peak performer of the week on the defensive side, brought to you by Ticket Smarter. Nathaniel, congratulations. Thank you.